You two stop acting like children, especially in front of Kate. Coming from the women who just spent $500 on a pair of boots? The gal's gotta live. <laughs> Something that you two haven't been doing very much. Well, if Rob wouldn't criticize me all the time. Hey, don't put this all on me. I'm trying here. Not hard enough. Stop it. What are you gonna do? Leave? Yeah, maybe I am. Good. Joanne. He'll be back. What if he does? He always does. Hey. Oh, hi, Kate. Let's see that book of yours. Where'd Dad go? He went up. <coughs> When's he coming back? Where? He may not be coming back, Kate. He always does. You don't know that. I'm not hungry. Charles is 
from Charles in my vest. Okay? And I had him to hear with that rabbit, so I picked him up by his ear, and I tossed him out the third story window. And it didn't seem like a wrong thing to do at the time, you know? But when Eddie came down here after her caterpillar incident, oh, the king of the time, he said, she must come down here and pay for what she has done. So that is why I'm here, that is why I'm wearing this. And so to answer your question, Kate, I'm bitter because of the stupid rabbit! I hate my mom! I want to die! So that's why you're wearing ears. Why else would I be wearing ears? <laughs> They're nice. No? Okay. Okay! We have somebody to meet. It's time for you to meet someone very special. Oh, it's the king of the lost world, and his name is... Maxley!
So I went to bed, and then I went to the door.